Hi there, it's Kerry here. Um, this week I'm doing an art journal page about a kestrel. Kestrels are British birds and they're seen very commonly over roadsides, a habit they've developed because of the um, warmth that encourages rodents and small mammals. Um, Basically, I'm full of cold today, so please excuse my snuffly nose. Uh, <laughs> um, so here I'm adding Neocolor crayons. They're water-soluble wax crayons, um, and I've selected a number of different greens to give a um, foliagey kind of background feeling, and I'm putting them on quite roughly. Just mixing up the colours to give a varied background. So I've got my gesso out and I'm activating them with gesso today. You can activate them with water, um, but I find with gesso you get a nice chalky matte um, finish, which is lovely for working on top of. And it also it gives a more pastel-y effect, so the colours aren't quite as bold. I'm just roughly um, mixing them up so that I keep a bit of that texture in the background. Okay, and then I have to leave this to dry for a few minutes and then come back and work on it again. And now I'm adding a black neo colour on top um, to give a, a road kind of shape. So we're looking down at the motorway as such. I'm activating the gesso again because I don't really want it to be so black so the gesso will grey it up a little bit for me. Okay, so I've put that aside to dry and I'm just working on an A3 sheet of watercolour um, not so cold pressed um, paper and I'm just drawing out an outline for my kestrel. So what I've decided to do is actually do it in a sort of a decoupage way so I'm going to have three different shapes which I layer on top of each other. So that's the base shape and here you can see the three shapes I drew and I've already cut them out. Um, so a little bit further on in the video I realised that the smallest shape I cut out was actually not um, big enough but I have redone that and at the end you'll see a shot with it done um, the full size that it should be. So I'm just using the Neocolor um, crayons again to add colours to the kestrels and I noticed that there's sort of a greeny colour under the wing and then oranges and tan colours on the kestrel and then he has quite a grey tail. I'm activating with water this time so that a bit more of that colour comes up so that my kestrel will be a little bit bolder. The, um, the bits that I'm going to layer on top of, I'm doing quite roughly on this layer because um, they won't be seen as much. Okay, 
Kestrels are quite remarkable um, in how they keep themselves still in the wind. They actually move their body backwards and forwards but keep their heads um, stationary so that they have a really good focus on the ground below. Which is what I really want to um, bring out in this illustration is the how the Kestrel copes with the wind. So activating again with water, um, just quite a rough base coat at this stage. Okay, so just working back on top of that, the, the part that's going to be showing. So just giving a bit more colour into the wings at the background. The head is also going to be visible on this layer, so I'm just adding some more feathers into the head. Black tips to the wings. And then uh, little markings along the middle of each wing. Okay, moving on to the next piece. Um, Adding some colour into the tail. Going to try and separate these feathers a little bit again. I'm not. I'm not aiming for hyper realism here. <laughs> um, it's just quite a expressive approach, I suppose. These neo colours actually dry quite quickly as well, but I suppose that depends also on how much water you activate them with. You don't need very much. <coughs> so I'm using um, 3D foam here to just add the different layers together so that it gives it a bit of dimension. in trouble removing the backing okay so that's my second layer and that's fine but then this third layer that I add on here I'm going to remove that again later because I found out that it's a little bit too short and it's not covering the whole body section that's meant to come forwards
don't know if you can see it very clearly on the video actually, but just there. Very quick tidy up. I think I've got to put the camera off here. Okay, and then back onto the art journal page. So I'm working with some stencils here to add a bit more texture to my background because I like building up layers to give a bit of interest. And I'm using the most fabulous spray ink here and I must put a link to this. I think it's Cindy's and it's sparkling ink but it doesn't clog up. It's just amazing. I think it's from America. Um, and here I'm just using my ink pad rather than using a blending tool which I do have but didn't have to hand I'm just actually pressing the ink pad straight through the stencil so I'm adding some little um, rabbit feet here which um, I made the stencil myself with a silhouette cutting machine and then I'm just adding some ink around the edge of the page just to give a border to the page and enclose it a little bit. I'm not sure how well that shows up on the video but it does look nicer in real life. Oh yeah you can just about see it I think. Alright so I'm trying out this stamp and then I realised that it's going in the wrong direction because <laughs> I wanted it to um, show the wind but instead I draw that on by hand the end. So just adding the road markings down the centre of the road with the white Posca pen. I love Posca pens. They're fab. But you've got to remember to shake them. <laughs> okay, so that's where my little kestrel is going to go. Okay. So now I'm going to add the rest of my illustration in. The idea is that it's a windy day and the kestrel staying still, but all the trees down the side of the road are blowing across the road. So I'm just colouring them in with green and then I'll come back and add a lighter green as well to show some difference between each tree. So imagining that the light is coming from the right. And I need some trucks, because you always get trucks on motorways. A big red lorry here. And I think my pat, my um, surface is still a little bit damp, so the Posca pens aren't really doing their absolute best here. But I quite like the effect of the sketchy lines that resulted from it being a little bit of a wet surface. A little blue car that turns out to be just on the angle so it looks a little bit squonk. <laughs> and here I'm adding the wind and I'm not sure how well you'll see this on the video but it's a light blue but then I do go in and add other colours. So I'm adding the quote here and the quote says a great wind is blowing And that gives you either imagination or a headache, but you can't see it very well, so I will type it up on the screen. 
thanks very much so that's coming to the end of the video i'd love a like or a subscribe and hopefully see you again next week bye